Charlie Ko with Travel Mall Media Group at ITB Asia Singapore with uh, Mario Bodini at Jack Travel. And to get our conversation going here, Mario, I'm gonna see this as uh, your the headline: Handpick Hotels Around the World. What's that all about? <laughs> uh, it's, it's our point of differentiation uh, uh, in the wholesale space. Uh, I think every company needs to have uh, their own USP, their own point that stands out. And in, in our case, we decided that we would, much rather than go for uh, as many hotels as possible, it would be more about the quality of the hotels that we have in terms of selecting hotels where we felt uh, uh, hotels that offered the right combination of location, uh, price, uniqueness, uh, and. Uh, ultimately gave customer satisfaction because it's, it's very easy just to focus on numbers of hotels and in the end give a, a poor experience because if I take London for example um, yeah, there are a huge number of hotels in London. We only currently um, deliver in the region of 400 hotels because we, if we went beyond that we would be offering a lot of hotels outside the city centre which would be cheap for the sake of being cheap and the back the, the backlash from that is that people will buy a cheap hotel and they will land up 30 or 40 kilometers outside the city. So broadly, our, me our message is less is more, we, we choose the hotels carefully, we try and make sure we have good relationships with the hotels, and ultimately we give the customer broadly what they want. And as you said, wholesale, you're, uh, give a little brief background of Jack Travel, please. Well, we've been around for 40 years, and uh, you don't see it on this stand, but it, at, at our stand at World Travel Market, there's a big, uh, there's a big banner saying uh, 40th anniversary. So we uh, we started off in 1975. Uh, the first uh, 25 years or so, we were an offline, as we all were at that time. Uh, uh, Everybody was offline. We were all offline, so you know, we weren't unusual in that respect. We were an offline DMC. Uh, so primarily, our focus was on dealing with groups and FITs in the old world. Uh, which is you know, uh, hand hand operation, and we still are actually a DMC and a, and a major DMC handling groups uh, into London, Scotland, and the UK. Um, since then, since the onset of the internet, we uh, got uh, involved in um, online distribution as a wholesaler. Uh, we've developed our own technology, and we we moved the dial from being a UK based. Um, operator to a European based operator and in the last five years or so we've moved outside of Europe and now we're heavily uh, evident in Dubai covering the Middle East, in Hong Kong covering Asia, uh, in uh, the US covering uh, with the US and Canada covering Canada. So yeah, we're, we're pretty much a global operation now but wholesaling is, is what, what we do. We sell to the travel trade, to OTAs, to B2B to B2 B2 operators, to local wholesalers and so on. And privately owned? No, uh, no we, uh, we are now private equity backed. Um, so it's, it's part management, part private equity. It's, it's a 50-50 split. Private equity mm -hmm. uh, are uh, over 49% of the business right. and the rest is owned by, by the management. And then it's half a billion dollars. Uh, you have acquisitions that you did this year. Yeah. Lots of things We've, happening. Um, huh? Yeah, we, we changed ownership last um, June of uh, June, July 2014. So we have new partners who are Petroleum partners who are very supportive. They want us to grow the business organically and through acquisition. Um, and we did our first acquisition fairly soon into the relationship, which uh, we completed in uh, March of uh, 2015. Uh, coming from Total State, Total State Group, who are um, in a similar space to ourselves. Um, they are in the wholesale business, mainly uh, in the retail area. So they're strongly in the retail market. So very complementary to what we do. Product-wise. Uh, Product-wise and distribution-wise. But, but they, they're also very Euro-centric. So what we now have is a, is a business which is around about 400 million pound turnover, or 600 million US dollars. Uh, and primarily, or about 80% of our business is, is, is in and out of Europe. Mm -hmm. So a large part of the next phase of business is how do we grow our business uh, in Asia, uh, primarily in the Middle East, and that's a combination of organic growth and acquisition. And, and yeah, we would be happy, and we are looking for the right acquisitions uh, in, in Asia should they come along. What about U.S. market? I mean, uh, while Asia is growing yeah. tremendously, U.S. buys a whole lot of hotel rooms yeah. around the world. Yeah, uh, and, and we are evident in the U.S. market. 
uh, we, we do work in the US market. We have a we have a, a, a buying a contracting base there, so we have a team buying hotels in the US. Mm -hmm. We have also uh, quite a significant distribution in the US. We would like more. Uh, but of course, uh, in the online world, uh, some of the some of the uh, established players are US. The Expedia. It's a market share thing. Huh? Yeah, it's a market share thing, and, and distribution is slightly different in the US. But uh, you know, we we are signing up some quite big contracts in the US, and and, and they are a significant part of our business. Yeah. Um, well, no, sorry, sorry. it sounds uh, very exciting. And anything else you like to? Uh, Tell us of the uh, well, that's the interesting. Other, the other thing that's, that's of course interesting is China. You know, uh, it's on everybody's radar. Uh, yeah. And uh, we've been working at China for you know, probably the last two years. We've been looking at China seriously, trying to see where we can fit, see how we carve out our niche. And we have been uh, doing market research. We've been doing. Uh, uh, our own plans, and we'll certainly in the next few months, we will be entering China in, in quite a serious way. Uh, oh, you, you found your niche. We found our niche. We, we hope we can deliver on it. You know, right. we, we certainly know that it's a uh, it's a place where we should be. We know it's not going to be easy. We know there's a, a lot of rules to learn, and there's a lot of uh, uh, a lot of new tricks that we have to learn. But you know, we are certainly uh, we're we're about to. Uh, I say launch seriously to China. And, uh, you know, we know it's not going to be easy, but we we know that we have to uh, have a good share of a very large market. Mm -hmm. Uh, for that market, is, is the product and technology the important thing, or relationships, or what? What do you think? Uh, it's. Uh... If I'm absolutely honest, the, the product has to be right, without a doubt, because uh, you know, in, unless you have the right product, you won't sell. Uh, but the product is moving very rapidly. We're finding that the, the Chinese market is, has moved very much from a domestic to a, a local Southeast Asian market, and we're rapidly seeing the move into into, the, into Europe. So, so Europe and the US are very, very, very quickly uh, coming on the agenda. We're also seeing that markets like Hong Kong, or destinations like Hong Kong, are slipping now. So you know, getting that right mix is important. But more than anything else, it is relationships. You, know, you, what, you can't just turn up in China and do business. It, do, it doesn't happen. Relationships. You, you, so there's a degree of loyalty. There's a degree of loyalty. There's a degree of showing that you understand the market. There's a degree of really investing time, investing in people, investing in, uh, in, in, in the right people and local people. So that uh, it, whilst it's an online market, it's also very much a, uh, a market which requires uh, local support. So, uh, you know, we, we've learned a bit. We have a lot more to learn, but we are pretty determined to make a, a, a big impact in China. Mario Bodini, Senior Vice President of Jack Travel. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>